Welcome to the stage, Tim Weiss from Point 380. Hey friends. All right, let's do this thing. So how do we stop climate change? Policy, carbon taxes, Al Gore. He did, he did invent the internet, so maybe that's going. <laughs> Government action's essential, don't get me wrong. But there's one critical fact we can't overlook, and that's really fundamentally businesses control emissions. And so tonight I'm gonna to talk about work that we've done to look at is the corporate sector actually doing their part? And we're gonna look at it quantitatively and get past kind of the marketing statements and greenwashing. So in 2015, the Paris Agreement happened and it was a game changer. As a globe, we all finally agreed on a common goal and that's to limit global average temperature rise to two degrees Celsius. And we've since updated that. We now have an aspirational goal of limiting it to 1.5. And really we're trying to mitigate the worst effects of climate change, minimize human uh, kind of disposition and actually have the potential for coral reefs in the future. And so when we agree on these common goals, the result is we actually can produce budgets of how many emissions we have left as a globe to emit. And fundamentally, we have to go to zero by 2050 to achieve the 1.5 degree pathway. And unfortunately, we're going the wrong direction. So, and just like any budget, a financial budget, if you overspend early on, you're gonna run out of money sooner than you thought. And so it's very likely we'll actually need to get to zero before 2050. And so how do we tackle this problem? There are massive concentrations of emissions in the corporate sector. It's estimated from the UN that the top 100 emitting public companies represent 25% of global GHG emissions. And so if we don't tackle what's happening in these 100 companies, we won't solve the problem. So we partnered with the World Economic Forum and CDP to look at what is the corporate sector doing and how do we measure this? How do we actually track their progress relative to these budgets? And we do it in two ways. We look at targets. So these are publicly reported emissions goals that are generally pretty long-term, multi-year goals. And then we also look at performance. What emissions are they reporting year over year and are they going down fast enough to achieve these goals? And so first step is we gotta divide up the budget, right? So where are they today? We take the share of the pie, and that pie is gonna shrink over time. And so fundamentally, it's a very basic problem. We cut it up by sector, we do all sorts of fancy stuff, but it's a very simple, simple process. So this is the data we had to work with. There's 7,000 companies reporting emissions data voluntarily across the globe, and it's growing. And I just got new data yesterday, it's 8,500 last year. And that represents 25, or 21% of global emissions. And importantly, we've got key sectors that are reporting, like utilities, energy, oil and gas, and materials like mining and other extraction. And so you can see collectively those three categories alone are 75% of emissions that are reported. So what's the story? Are these companies, these 7,000 companies all just doing lip service or are they actually solving the problem? So first we're gonna look at targets. So we have 1,500 companies reporting emissions goals. Of those, around 500 actually are achieving what they need to to meet either the two degree or 1.5. And that's not enough, right? When we look at it in terms of emissions, it's only 3% of global emissions that are covered under those budgets or under those targets. So what we have leaders out there doing kind of ambitious things, but it's not at the scale necessary to solve the problem. When we look at performance, we see actually the opposite. Emissions from these 7,000 companies have gone down 7% from 2014 to 2017, which is ahead of the two degree pathway and nearly ahead of the 1.5. And so who's driving this? We actually see that utilities that are reporting are doing really well. They're actually ahead of the 1.5 degree pathway. And we see other industries like energy and materials that I mentioned are key, they're actually lagging. And it's pretty intuitive because what we've seen in our industry Renewable energies are driving everything. Folks, sectors that have access to renewable energy to offset their emissions have a runway and a pathway to achieve this. And others that don't have a long, a harder way to go. So at the end of the day, the takeaway is we have leaders that are providing a framework to solve this. But the scale isn't there yet, but it's getting there. 
And I'm hopeful because what we're seeing now in our industry is that these leaders are pressuring suppliers. And what I think, and what I think is possible, is that this supply chain pressure actually might solve the problem. Thank you.